Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 16, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. We went through the city of Phrygia. We found three extra gems, always nice. And we uh, ended up rescuing our buddy, going through the diamond mine, and saving a bunch of laborers, and... Uh, and then we recovered everybody's memory, got some really weird cryptic stuff, and now we're off to my cousin Neil's place. Alright, so there's not much else. Uh, there's a lot of talking here. That's why I wanted to hurry up and do the the thing. So uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> it's open. Come in. Neil, it's me, Will from South Cape. With friends. Oh, Will, you've gotten strong. Mm hmm. Okay. Are all of these people your friends? No, they're just following me around. Yeah, I guess they're my friends. This person stinks. Hmm. What are you saying? You shouldn't talk like that. There's a wonderful smell in this room, isn't there? Hey, hey, both of you talk pretty harshly. When you're wrapped up in inventing something, you don't care about your appearance. I don't think the smell is that bad. Not enough to hate me for it. Alright, let's be honest. Now, for for the last few months, while everybody's been working at home and shower, regular showers have been optional, um, you, you probably might not have noticed the, uh, the, the, the fine bouquet that surrounds you as you go. Um... Just saying, Neil. You might not have noticed the uh, fine bouquet that follows you as you go. <clears throat> Nobody said anything about hate, though. I've only been wearing these socks for a month. Aches. I've only had mine on for three weeks. I guess I lose. I'm going to give you a bye since you lost your memories. And maybe you just forgot the last three weeks. Maybe? I can't believe it. I don't want to breathe the same air as him. I've heard enough about my socks. Make yourselves at home. You're Will's friends. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to Neil. It's been two years since we last met, hasn't it? I've invented lots of things since then. The four inventions in this room are my best work. Have a look. Alright. I've only had my... Oh, you still got on about the socks. Seth will be pleased when he sees this invention. Which one? I can't believe it. I don't want to breathe... Oh, I can't believe you're still going on about that. I can't believe I can't talk to... Lily. That's an oxygen tank. There's air inside. With this, you can breathe underwater, but there's only one minute's worth of air inside. Uh, okay. Compressing the air would let you stay underwater longer, but I don't know how to do it. Those are airplane wings. I now have the red hot chili peppers stuck in my head. No, I won't sing Aeroplane. It's part of a machine that will fulfill man's dream of flying in the air like a bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a new pair of socks. No, there's oxygen. <laughs> <sighs> like a bird, like a plane. The body's too big and you need a runway to take off, so it's hidden in the desert. Okay. Um, there should be four in here, right? That's a telescope. You can see the stars as if they were in your hand. Where, oh, that's right. That's a camera. It'll burn a copy of a scene onto printing paper. The problem is that it takes almost 30 minutes. Hold that smile. Say cheese for half an hour. 
Scenery doesn't move, but, a photogra- but to photograph a person means they can't move for 30 minutes. Unless you like psychedelic photos. When I used it, the eyes turned bright red like a rabbit's. Am I going to say anything new over here? Nope. Okay. Tell me why you came to see me. Will tells Neil about hearing his father's voice and visiting the world's ruins and his search to find the mystic statues. You laughing at me? Interesting. I too have some interest in the runes. The runes Will talked about are scattered over the world, but they have something in common. Drawing a line among the runes makes a shape that looks like the constellation of Cygnus. Cygnus? That's the Tower of Babel where Will's father got lost. It's in the middle of the ground painting of a of the big white bird. Let's try this again. It's in the middle of the ground painting of the big white bird. There's a new red star below the constellation of Cygnus. That's right. You know a lot. I thank you. The red star in Cygnus wills interest in the runes. Different elements are bound together organically. Organically? Yes. You could say things have been plotted out very conveniently. I don't know if it's by coincidence or by design. I'm going to go with design. Uh, But something is going to happen. Fortunately, the Nazca ground paintings are a week's walk east of here. Go? Alright, there's nothing else we can do, so let's go. Good, it's settled. Change your socks before you go walking a week out into the desert, though. Please. We're going, too. We don't want Will to be the only one having a good time. Walking in the desert is a good time. The group went to the Nazca Desert. On a horse with no name. Sorry. I'm not going to sing that one. Like I said, copyright's been getting out of hand. Hey! Does it make them the Magnificent Six? Like, we need one more and we'll have the Magnificent Seven? Can I be Yule Burner? I mean, I got the hair for it. <laughs> Nazca Plain. It was a long way, but you did a good job. This is the most famous of the ground paintings. The Condor. Have you ever heard of it? No one knows why ancient people drew their pictures like this. Whenever I come here, I'm overwhelmed by the grand scale. You should go see it for yourself. And again, this is another case where the game is referencing something that really does exist in the world. Um, I, I, I forget exactly. I, I can't remember who it is, Nazca, or if it is a, a different name in the real world, where you actually have legit ground paintings that only make sense when you look at them from from the sky. Like, I, I, yeah. Anyway, cue conspiracy theories here, and let's get to talking. It's scary. I'll stay with Neil. He's scary, too. Don't be in such a hurry. Wait for everyone else. All right. We need to talk to everyone else, um, too. When you look at it this way, it's like a, the white lines at an athletic event. Maybe the ancient Nazca people ran the 100 yard dash here. Um, who else we got? This is the condor's stomach. If you dig here, you might find eggs. It's a joke. Don't be so serious. Why so serious? Oh, wait, no. Wrong franchise. Doesn't there seem to be a pattern in the way the rocks are scattered around? Up until now, all I've done is go to school, study, and play. Yeah, I know. It looks exactly. Looks like a rock. Sometimes I wonder if my being here isn't all a dream. Is it a dream within a dream? Oh wait, no. That'd be some Van Halen. Okay. Those are my four friends and Neil and myself. So now I need to go down. 
the southwest corner, and there should be a spirit. Hey. Hey. Okay. What was that about? Hmm. Alright, let's go find our entourage and trip over every rock along the Oh, hey. Must be story time. The ancients were amazing. I wonder why they made this. Up until now, um uh, yada yada. A dream within a dream. It must be great to paint such huge paintings on a natural canvas. What's gonna happen? It's exciting. Maybe. We'll talk about it when everyone comes back. The mystic statue that Will spoke of is somewhere on this plane? I thought I'd seen the paintings before. But doesn't this condor look like Cygnus? Of course! I hadn't noticed. When we look at it, we see Cygnus, but ancient people probably just saw a condor. Did they see the flight of the condor? I heard that was really good. Ah, I've got it. Look, look where the rocks are on the ground. Their position like the stars in the constellation of Cygnus. Of course, Cygnus has nine stars and there are nine stones. Where is the red star that appeared recently? All right, now I'm going to happen to rather than guess and hunt and use all the clues. <laughs> Although they didn't give you that many clues on this one. It is the left foot. Uh, the idea is that you're kind of supposed to know that... Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, you're, you're supposed to pick up that you're talking to the spirit over by the left foot, and that is your one and only clue that the star is over in the left foot. Or you're supposed to remember something that was mentioned like way back in the game. Uh, so if you got good memory, then... Good on you. If you figured out the exceptionally cryptic clue of the ghost, good on you. If you're reading a guide, welcome to the rest of the world. Okay. To the left foot. Of course. At the joint of its left foot. Let's check the left foot. Okay. That's a weird way to get to the left foot, but... Sure. A riddle in a constellation. Kind of romantic. Yeah, you put the left foot in, left foot out. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Um, what is romantic about... No, no, just no. There's a tile buried in the sand. When Will's flute touched it, there was a rumbling sound. Hey, something huge is coming down. Um. Well. Okay. Now we are at the Sky Garden. Nice. This is where we're going to find two more red jewels and a whole bunch of other stuff, including some crystal balls, which will be nice. There's a strange garden floating in the sky over Nazca. On the ground, Neil and my friends look like tiny ants going back and forth. Could the paintings be an airport for the sky garden? Well, they could be a lot of things, couldn't they? Oh, it's the Moon Tribe! That's what that coo 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 is about. We meet again. You're a strong boy to come this far. Is it? Is all you got for me? This sky garden is our mode of transportation. There are four crystal balls in four locations. Find each one in clockwise order. Drop off the cliff at the front and back to find the upside down world. Okay. Oh, good. We got a save point. Let's uh, go ahead and take advantage of that. Was record what's happened? Yes, please. Record what's happened. Finished recording. Continue. Yes, let us continue. Uh, yeah, upside down, inside out. MC Escher would be proud of what we're about to find here. Because um, <laughs> this is, yeah, this is going to be interesting. 
All right. Um, east, southeast, southwest, and west. Dark space on the opposite of the starting location. So now we need to go back to the east path where we started from. All right. So those are all the people. This is where we started. That takes us back up. And matter of fact, before I forget, let me go ahead and do a uh, save state as well. Just to make sure that's uh, ready in case anything untoward happens. And... All right, here we go to the Sky Garden. And fly to the Condor or something. Can we pull these guys? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nothing there. Uh, I, oh. Hi. Uh, that looks dangerous. Okay. Explodey worm bits? Yikes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. New south. Uh, two more round. All right, now we got a blue sentry. Oh. Um. Can I have my freedom now? Hi. Okay, maybe they're not that tough. I, I, I know, a little bit more and we'll have uh, our third... Yikes. There we go. Oh, oh almost. 97. Come on. Three more. Oh. You'll have... Uh, Dark points we need. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't blow up. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, 98. Could somebody kindly drop, like, more than a dark point? That, that'd be, like, deeply, deeply appreciated. I'd like to have at least one more life with all the floating, exploding bits. You found a red jewel. All right, there is one of our two red jewels. Nice. You know what? Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's send that joker off. That way we're, we're squared away if anything should happen. My kingdom for a uh, place to heal. Oh! All right, well, at least we got our point. So far, so good. We've only got, what, four more guys and two more treasures? Huzzah! All right. Oops. Two more guys and two more treasures. Where do we go from here? Down this path? Is that the only path? That is the only path. Okay. Uh, let me just double check and make sure. Yada yada, blue sentries, yada yada. Stand just to the left or the right. Alright. There's Red Jewel. Exit in the south. All right. Oh, now we're at the back of the garden. Okay, so now we're in the upside down world. Where red is blue and up is down and left is right or something. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's two.
All right. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. And we got nine more of those. Yeah, firebombs. <laughs> you know what? I hate using these guys, but, um... I don't... Alright, uh, yep, yeah. okay. There's not another dark space, so let's go ahead and, uh... Use one of those guys now. Which way do we want to go, though? Hmm. Um. Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, oh, good. Five hit points. I'll take it. I don't like that he's jumping like that either. Oh, 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 run away! <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. These guys are dropping. All right. How many more of these guys? We've got five more. Oh, those those don't look nice. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, so now we got little fireballs to avoid. Ah, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Can can I can I go back to my safe space now? I would really like to go back to my safe space and to have a map. I can't have map? No. Alright, that's back to the beginning. Uh, so I guess down it is. Hi. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Blocked it that time. Kingdom for some reach. Alright, we got three more. Alright. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Um, hmm. Pick this way first. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Hey, there we go. That should be the last one, which means we got our defense increased. That must be the way out. But it looks like there was one other area that we didn't quite get a chance to explore. So let's, uh... Oh. Ah, I was expecting a chest. You know? Nope. No, no surprises. No benefits. No, no wonderful treasures. Okay. Oh, speaking of treasures, you found an herb. Good. Alright. Oh. Uh, okay. And back to the back of the garden. Then we try... Nope, not that way. Let's try this way. I wonder if I've been missing other parts of the garden. Hey, that looks like another treasure. And your hit point increased. Can it fill back up? Eh, close. Oh. Okay. So far, so good. Oh. Okay. And what do I have here? You found... 
The crystal ball. And what do I see in the crystal ball? The future? The past? Nope. Okay, so that is the crystal ball that I needed to find over in this one. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, run around, defeat the 13, yada yada, jump back down, southwest, defeat the ball worm, yada yada, sword will spin out. Um, head back into the first area and insert the crystal ball into one of the holes in the floor. All right. Oh, I, do I need to backtrack all the way back to the garden? I think I need to backtrack all the way back to the garden. Okay. All right, all the way back to the first area. At least that'll give us a chance to uh, heal up while we're at it too. Oh no, this is the uh, this is where I need to go. All right? Yep. That'll take me back here. Is there another shortcut? I love shortcuts. Don't you just love backtracking? I love it when a game makes you backtrack. I was praising this game earlier because uh, at least at the Laurel Lauri ruins, it keeps giving you uh, faster means to get back, right? I guess I probably ought to equip it. Equip the crystal ball. The crystal ball is set in the hole. Da -da -da -da. All right. So the first little floaty bridge is done. Sweet. Let's um let's go back to the dark space and let's do a couple of things. Kind of wish you could turn into Frieden here, but oh well. Record what's happened. Yes. Um, what about my hit points? Alright, I, I guess that is all the hit points I get. Alright, so, this is where I need to switch things over to the credits and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still a little bit more to come. Basically, I live the recording of, of a six-episode run, and uh, we're about four... Yeah, four episodes in, so we got two more to go. So hang tight if you can, just a little bit longer. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you get notified when I go live. Um, I do This Game's Revisited Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. On Tuesdays, I do a Minecraft stream off of the CoffeeCraft server, uh, coffeecraft.us for more information on that. And I, I'm going to try to do some extra streams here and there where I can squeeze them in. So if you follow along, you'll always know when I go live. You'll get the notification. And if you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube. That way, uh, if you miss any parts of the live stream, you can go watch the episode when it gets released there. That's also where I upload live stream archives from CoffeeCraft and various other things. And uh, other bits and bobs will also get posted there, like the uh, special resource pack I made for Minecraft. There's more there as well. And uh, if you're watching this there, I won't belabor that whole thing about likes and bells and all that jazz, because you've heard it a bajillion times from a bajillion people, and I trust that you're smart enough to know how to help out the channel. And uh, also, if if you can, consider supporting the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket. So if you're enjoying the content, if you're getting some value out of it, be that entertainment or education or, you know, a trip down nostalgia lane, consider going to live.anonjunior.com. That'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it, and uh, give a little value back. How much? I leave that up to you because, again, this is a straight-up value-for-value value proposition. If you're getting value out of the show, consider giving a little bit back, even if it's just enough for another fresh cup of coffee, which uh, I forgot to pick up while I did the break on the last one. All right, so... <laughs> Thank you. Live folks, give me just a minute to prep the next episode. So I'm going to set the screen to blank for a few seconds so I can pad things out. And, um, and then I will be right back. And uh, YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>